Yo, what's up, guys? Bluefin41 here, four here on my antique channel. Uh, today we have something a little bit special. Second video, first unboxing. So, what's in here? As you can already tell by the title, this is three German World War II, um, also Czechoslovakian, um, three World War II uh, Kema gas masks. Uh, 1939, as these are marked. Um, I'm gonna get uh, get the uh, shipping labels and stuff off, and then they wrap this thing pretty well, so I'm gonna start cutting into it. All right, here we go. Come here. All right. I know I have some viewers in Russia. Let's get a close up on here. I know I've got some viewers in Russia. I'm not sure if you can see that. Tell me what that means. I mean, this is Bulgarian, so it probably don't. My Bulgarian viewers, check that out. Okay. So, here are the cases that they would come in. <laughs> this is cool. I'm gonna open one. I'm gonna only. I'm gonna keep the other two packaged. I know that two of them are lighter color, the other one's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go for this middle one, because it, I don't know, because it just goes. Ooh, okay, come over to the table here. Okay, so, let's go ahead and uh, move the tape. Man, these guys are serious about it. Okay, here we go. Now, what I'm, what I'm about to pull out, this is actually, um, this canister here is what they would wear either on their back or their chest. The Germans would, I mean, even the Americans. Um, and this would hold their gas mask. <laughs> so, uh, it's pretty neat. Um, some of the uh, models of the gas masks that, uh, that they'd uh, sell, some of the gas masks um, that, or at least the uh, cases, basically... They had these little compartments in the top. Now, I looked at the pictures of these when I bought them, and uh, this does not. This has the instructions in the top, but basically soldiers used to keep their uh, effects inside of the top piece there, so that was cool. This has the original straps, it looks like. So that's, like, really awesome. You can see a little sneak peek here. Some of the original straps. We'll pull it out here, and we can get a better view. And I did buy three of these. Um, three gas masks. So cool. Um, one I'm keeping, and the other two I'm selling. Um, so that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Man. Here, come check this out. We have the Kema logo already exposed at the top there. So that was the brand that the uh, gas masks were made by. The, like I said, these particular models were made in '39. Like a package. Like I, and uh, like I said earlier, these came all the way from Bulgaria. Uh, these are pretty neat. Um, so let's pop it open and take a look at the gas mask. Okay, so they even wrapped up the gas masks for me. You see, now this, ooh, hey, look, a little bug. Uh, this specific one does not have the instructions or the, um, the uh, plate where uh, they keep their effects. Um, but it's okay, the other ones do. Um, See the eye of the mask right in there? There's a canister in there. So let's go ahead and open this up. A little bit dirty. And another thing, um, when when purchasing old gas masks, never you never wear them with the filters on. Um, these ones, the Kema, I think they used asbestos in their in their canisters, in their filters. And when they when the filters get old, you know it starts to leak. Uh, some were asbestos, some were charcoal, so I'm not going to be wearing this mask with the canister on. If I ever put it on, it's going to be just, you know, just the mask, no, no canister. All the way from Bulgaria. Original straps as well. Oh, that's so cool. All right. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh, that feels, that's cool. All right. Got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of, uh, you know, rust spots and stuff, but um, still pretty cool. Um, here's the mask. It's got a little bit of dust. It smells pretty. It, it basically, wait, it kind of smells, it just smells like rubber, like rubber equipment or something. So I'm probably going to take a, a, a soft cloth and clean the lenses. Here you can see some of the uh, stuff here. Now these ones were used in Czechoslovakia. Um, it's not really 
There we go. Uh, these ones were used in Czechoslovakia. These are German, but these ones were um, imported. So, um, yeah, let's. Uh, I'll set this aside, and we can check out um, the filter or the uh, canister. Okay, here it is. Okay, oh, there's a little bottom piece. Um, made of rubber, huh? Interesting. Never seen that before. Well, that's got a little bit of writing on it. Don't know what that is. But on the, bo on the bottom here you can see Kema. Um, and then of course the logo here. So, I have no idea what that is. I'm not sure if it goes there or what, but um... I, actually, that probably does go there. If it was adhered there, I'm probably going to have to glue it back or something, but I'm going to put that in there for now. But that's the uh, filter. Made it out pretty well. I'm assuming these were surplus. I don't think these were actually made. But like I said, I'm not going to be wearing the mask with this on um, because I'm assuming that this one probably has asbestos in it and asbestos poisoning is not fun. So I'm going to make sure top of the filter is kind of releasing, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and put on the mask. It's probably going to smell awful, but it's got this giant rig here I'm going to have to figure out. I think I, I think I know how this works. It's disgusting. Oh, there we go. Oh, you my mummy. Ach, ton meinen. Okay, so, can you hold this? So I'm gonna, oh, I'm fogging up here. I'm fogging up. I'm fogging up though, because it's hot, I'm breathing, and I have no filter. It's hot in there, I'm gonna admit that. Um, I see a little bit of dirt, and I probably have a little bit of dirt on my face, but, um, okay, so I found it. Here's the date inside of it, right on nose there. Zoom in there. Might have to get the macro lens on, but, um, yeah, I'm going to take a picture. This is 1939 inside of there. There we go. You can see kind of 1939 inside there. Um, and then it's got some other sy symbols inside of the uh, filter. So that's kind of neat. And it's, it's writing. It's uh, English alphabet writing with some other special characters. So I'll go ahead and uh, try popping the filter on, see what that looks like. Just like that. So this has kind of been a little dive into my, uh, into the beginning of my uh, mask collection. These ones, of course, were uh, German slash Czech. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd enjoy it, uh, please do drop a like. If you want to see. Uh, video where I talk a little bit more in depth on these masks Please go ahead and just go in the comments below. Also, you can hit a like to support that If you want to see more of my antiques and more of my collection like you saw in the first video Go ahead and subscribe click the bell icon so you never miss one of my videos. Thank you so much guys. See you later